here we have a barn lantern. Now the lanterns themselves are made of tin. Here's a sheet of tin. Uh, you can see it's very flexible, but it's also very, very strong. Now tin is mined from the ground. It's very soft, it's very pliable. In actual fact, you can't make anything from tin. It's too soft. So to be able to use it, they take mild steel and by dipping, they then coat it with tin on either side. So we have tin, mild steel and tin. So now we have what we technically should call tin plate because that's exactly what it is. Before I can do anything, I have to do a pattern. Now, these three here are Pennsylvania Deutsch patterns, and on close examination of these patterns, we find that they have a slight religious overtone. This one is referred to a stained glass window, and of course, it reminds you of a stained glass window in a church when you light it up. It's a beautiful pattern, this one. This one here, this is the rays of the sun. This one lights up like the rays of the sun. It's beautiful, this one. Now this one, you know when we have churches with the big arches outside? Well, actually, this is represented at the top of an arch. This is represented at the top of an arch. And this is one of the big pillars that go to support the arches outside. So, slight religious overtones, that's where they're coming from. And of course, remember, the doors are made to match. So we go over to here and we use which I refer to as the guillotine. One down there. Now remember I'm actually scratching these lines on because whoops you do you can't use a pencil because a pencil will just come off. Uh, where are we? There to there. I'm just going to... Right, that's the middle. I'm going to put a little tiny dot in the middle there. So now, we put this on here. Voila, that's one. And we likewise, we do... Same again. Now this is the one for putting the actual slots in. So here we go. Now, if I need a bigger, if I need bigger slots, of course, I can use a bigger tool. So now this is complete now as a body and it's ready for actually shaping. Now we come over here to the rolling machine. Now I have to be careful that I don't flatten all that work out again. I always go through twice to make sure both sides are evenly shaped. These are the brace pieces across there and across there. You'll notice also that they have the safety edge on because they also serve as part of the door opening. So that one will then go on there. Well, I'm ready now to solder this bridge piece in, in position. Uh, this is my soldering iron, of course. Uh, and that is actually a charcoal stove there. So I'm now going to pick up the solder and I'm going to have to hold it because burny fingers. There we go. Number one. While I do this, there's one that 
We've now continued the shape of the body. I'm all ready now to actually put that edge on.